Hey YouTube, how's everyone going? Let me know in the comments down below. Bananas if you're good, lemons if you're not so good. Anyway, today's video is focused on contracts. I know dancers sometimes might get contracts, but in general I just want to share my story about when I got offered a contract. Let's start at the beginning. So I went on an audition for an agency to get more dance work. And I was lucky enough to get selected for everything but dancing. They wanted me for hair modeling, modeling, commercials, commercial modeling, but not for dancing. Anyways, they sent me the contract. I had a read to it. And I've been with other agencies before, so they wanted me to pay an upfront fee of $400. Yeah, so this is very important for everyone out there with contracts. You gotta ask them to do something for you to know that they really want you and they just don't want you for your money. So lucky I read the contract and I sent back a email asking if that four hundred dollars could be taken off some the first job that they get from you or the following jobs they get from me. They said no, and I've been with other companies before that has done this. So that's one way of knowing if a company really believes in you, in your look, or your talent, or they just want you to get your money. So, anyways, so after doing that, it was like a test for me if they really wanted me. I never got a reply back for them. So I just said, oh, thank you. I don't think at the moment that I'm suitable for your agency but I was that this is a very valuable lesson for anyone out there that wants to get out there into the industry anything could be it doesn't just have to be dance but I'm aiming this at dancers because I know a lot of dancers don't have this kind of access to this information and it's something that it's sad but it's dancers aren't so focused like they're not aimed as so-called dance entrepreneurs which we are freelancers but that's it that's a little quick video just to let you know my story about contracts why you should read them and why you should always counter offer the contract to find out if the agency really wants you and what they're willing to do. I hope you really like this video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to give you, do more tip videos like this or story videos like this down in the comments. And I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. You've been watching this long. Have a good one.